Hello and welcome back to episode 708 of the Journey Through Games, playing almost every Super Nintendo game released in Europe and US, usually missing out the sports games, um, unless it's a sports game that I've got some interest in, like tennis. I think tennis makes for good video games. Um, so let's see if International Tennis Tour can compete with Smash Tennis, Super Smash Tennis, or Super Tennis. Uh, so what have we got? Exhibition, training, tournament, Nations Cup, championship. Let's do an exhibition for some moolah, singles, one player versus a computer. I want to play on grass. We'll do one set. Amateur. No, we'll do three sets. Press start to play. One, Luis Ramon, Eric Meyer, Jan Muller. Oh wait, look at Jan Muller's chin. He's got to be a good tennis player. Who we got? Ned Austin, Sam Corey, Rick Bailey, Dead Ned Redford, Ned Rafford, Dan Carter, Mike Jones. Luis Gomez, Ed Suarez, Yuji Shima, Ken Sato, Alan Lloyd, Guy Robert. Uh, let's go with Alan Lloyd. It's the Battle of the Chins. <laughs> That's a pretty cool view. He's done me. Eric Meyer, Jan Muller, sorry, is a beast of a guy. Look at the size of his muscles. Oh no. Oh no, he beat me at the net. That was a decent rally though. Oh no, he's got me at the net. Me. Fault. Wait. Oh, again, it's that that diagonal thing. That's annoying. Oh. Broke my service. Double fault. Thank you. Oh no. Net first service. Oof, right past me. Oh. 
Now I'm thinking about that diagonal thing, it's not, it's kind of throwing me off a bit. Oof, take that, son. And that. Oh, he's done him. Oh, look at that. Jan Muller's suddenly switched on. I get that. Oh, you won't. That again, he, it's so annoying that the diagonals aren't registering. I wonder if that's like an emulation issue. Oh, no. Right, I'm just going to belt this one. Full power. Maximum power. Oh. Net first service. It can be quite hard to see where the ball is going as well sometimes. That those those um Lobs, lobs, the lofty ones. Yeah, there. Oh, that didn't even go over the net. But it's hard to tell, like. Oh, he done me. He's done me. Ooh. Oh no. Too busy thinking about this diagonal thing. Like, as in consciously trying to avoid pressing diagonals. Oh, I missed it. Went just past my racket. Um, yeah, let me just have a quick look and see if I can change. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, it is disabled, so let's... So now I've put it in, so there's no excuses now. So hopefully it should work uh, for diagonals. That's, um, okay. Yeah, it does. It does. That's better. That's improved things quite a bit. Wait, what? I couldn't even tell what was happening with the ball there. Oof. Set point. Oh, yeah, 
it's kind of it's kind of hard to see where the ball is going. Um, like how, where how, it's the distance, the sort of perspective on the ball is kind of hard to figure out. Oh wow! Look at that. That was beautiful. Oh, straight through my legs. Um. But that said, this is again a demonstration of I think tennis games make tennis makes for good video games. Ooh. It's quite high up on the uh video game hierarchy. Would I say uh, this is again I maybe I'm a bit biased, but I think this is a decent discovery. Ooh. I mean, I'm losing, but I'm having I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Not enjoying losing, but I'm still I'm enjoying playing the game now that the diagonals are sorted as well. Game player two. Oh, he done me there. Did me. Oof. I wonder if I wonder what the other buttons do. Is there more than one? So X and Y don't seem to do anything. What about L and R? Select. Start. Pauses it. Okay. Oof. Belted me. I don't think I've even won a point. Oh, there we go. That won a point. But as in, I don't think I've actually beat him on a point. He's just made mistakes. Oh, he did me. That was good. Good shot. Oof, too slow. Again, like it, he took so much momentum out of that, so much speed out of that ball, but you can't really tell. Um, I'm gonna put this as a decent discovery, I think. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I do enjoy tennis games, even though I'm not super into tennis as a sport. Um, I think playing the games is actually pretty entertaining. See, look, that. I could not even figure out where that was. Uh, but it. Thought that would go. Maybe it's L and R. Is it? Uh, 
Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, he's, yes, done it. Um, yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I would put this as a decent discovery. Um, again, I, I think it's a, it's an all right tennis game, um, and I quite like tennis video games. I, I think they're pretty entertaining. They're quite easy to pick up and play. I think I've said this before because the, the rules are relatively straightforward, but there is nuance in terms of which how, how you return uh, the ball like each button sometimes does a slightly different shot and you could put some spin on it sometimes um, so yeah I would say this is a decent discovery it's got a lot of options and I think if you like tennis it's worth a look and that'll do it for this episode I'll see you guys next time